Uh, this recording will be sent out sometime tomorrow. Attached to that recording will be a questionnaire. So if you could just fill out that questionnaire, it should take you no more than five minutes and uh, and fill that out and you'll be able to access the recording. Uh, the chat feature is uh, available. So if you do have questions, feel free to ask questions. We will have a designated Q&A at the end. So if you do want to ask questions, I'd probably recommend holding off until the end uh, where you can ask those. Uh, if you want to take yourself off mute and ask those questions, you can certainly do that. Or like I said, post them into the chat. Um, my name is RJ Panessi. I work on our career and professional development team here at WGU. And from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass it off to our presenters. Disra, do you wanna take it over from here? Thank you, RJ, I appreciate it. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Adisra, and I'm the Talent Acquisition Recruiter here with iCaldis, based here in Maryland. And this is a great turnout, so thank you very, very much to everyone who is participating, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions they may have towards the end. Uh, but yes, just to give you a little brief background about myself, and then I'll segue into the company, and also my counterpart here as well, David Contreras our seasoned proposal writer here at iCalidus. Um, regarding myself, um, as I mentioned, I am the recruiter with iCalidus. I work closely with HR and the business development team here at iCalidus and the leadership. Uh, we are information technology primarily, but we do also focus on the healthcare industry as well. Uh, primarily federal clients, but we do also work on state and local um, entities as well. So we're looking always for opportunities and, and partnerships all throughout, so we're very vigorous um, at that at this uh, given time. Um, the company has been around. iCalidus has been around since 2012. Um, with the new management, we've been around for about five years. We work very closely with each other. Uh, primarily, uh, we all work remotely. Um, some of us are local, but uh, you know, there's others that are scattered all throughout the uh, the U.S. But again, given that we are a small business, we are a minority owned small business, woman owned small business, we definitely do have advantages there. So I know there are folks here who definitely would be interested um, in starting off with a startup company or a small business. This would be the opportunity to get that, um, get that experience, be able to build your skill set, your capabilities, be able to shine and catapult on different areas. Um, as I mentioned, information technology, healthcare, but also again, technical roles. We do have a lot of clear positions that we focus on. Um, my goal is to be able to connect with folks today so that we could definitely, if there are any current opportunities, we could definitely communicate about that. Um, if there are other opportunities, definitely connect with me. I'll be happy to provide you with my, uh, with our direct talent acquisition email address so that you can connect and provide me with your resume, your contact info, and we could definitely uh, look at future opportunities as we move forward. Um, with that being said, I will hand it over to David. He is our seasoned proposal writer here at iCalidus. Hi, everyone. She covered pretty much everything about the company, so I'll just introduce myself. My name is David Contreras. I've been proposal writing for iCalidus for two and a half years. Before that, I did grant writing for a charity in Texas for a few years before that newspaper and editorial work before that the military. So as you can see, I had a little bit of everything, whatever you guys are interested in, whatever background you guys have, I call this, we're open to everyone. As long as you have that mindset of being driven and hardworking and you know what you want, you know what you want to bring to the team, come on down. Thank you, David. I appreciate it. So um, as mentioned, you know, again, just to kind of reiterate the type of background and the type of folks that we're looking for, um, not only are clear, but definitely as David, who also is former military, um, we definitely welcome. I work very closely with a lot of military um, groups and networks nationwide. So um, if you are someone who is going to be non-commissioned, um, going to the civilian um, transition to the civilian world. Definitely connect with me as well. I definitely have networks. Again, if I don't have current opportunities, I'll be more than happy to. I always like to be someone who's resourceful and helpful. So do connect with me on that front. Um, the other advantage also with iCalidus, we do have a lot of positions 
um, opportunities that arise that are entry to mid level. Um, so a lot of the, you know, a lot of the roles that we do place the job placements are geared toward those who are at an entry to to junior um, and also mid level roles as well. Um, so um, if, again, if, if I can piggyback off you right there for that sure. one. Um, yeah, to. To reiterate that, uh, when James, our CEO, hired me, it was my first job out of college officially. I mean, I had a, a lot of other jobs that were military and, you know, volunteer charity work, but this was my first, like, as they say, big boy job. And James, our CEO, hired me straight out of college, no questions asked. So don't be afraid to go for a big corporate job right out of school. Thank you. I appreciate that, David. So, yes, yeah, so, I mean, you know, the key attributes that, um, what I like to emphasize, you know, throughout this call, I think that's one of the common questions folks ask, or what are the things that, you know, as a recruiter, I've been a recruiter for over 10 years from nonprofit healthcare and IT. Um, what I could definitely say is someone who has the right attitude, someone who is self-driven, who's self-motivated, um, is comfortable approaching leadership, um, has great communication skills, writing skills is very important. Uh, someone who's proactive, someone who's action oriented. Um, I know these are probably a lot of, you know, qualities that you've probably heard and, and, and seen a lot of job postings, but it's, but it is true. It is sound. These are things, especially, you know, if you're going off of just, you know, primarily academia, um, and you don't have a lot of their work, you know, hands on experience. If you have these key traits, I would definitely, um, really hone into those areas. Uh, 1 of the other things I wanted to mention as well is that. You know, a lot of folks, you know, are leaping and want this, you know, high aspiration for a particular position. That's great that you know what um, what your goal is and what direction you want to go. Um, I would definitely say to, you know, to explore your opportunities, especially the preliminary stages, but at the same time, focus on the areas, focus on, you know, know what your key interests are, what career pathway you want to go. Um, you know, don't uh, narrow it to just one. But at, at the same time, kind of focus on that and then work and look at and do some, you know, research, look at the different training certifications, the skill sets, the preferred qualifications. Take a moment to look at um, different job postings out there as well while you have that downtime, you know, um, before you either your recent graduate or about to graduate and see what employees are looking for and just kind of aggregate that all together, you know, contemplate it, see what you can work on, what you could bring to the table, what your contributions are. And those are things that you want to be able to really highlight during your um, interviews, your conversations with employers, with hiring managers um, moving forward. So really focus on, on those key things, understanding yourself first and foremost, but then also taking a look at the key requirements, the differentiators, the preferred qualifications, and then see where you can enhance that and, and build upon that. So this time I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. I know we're going to keep this fairly brief um, up to 6.30. So I'm more, more than welcome again. I thank everyone for joining today. Um, please, if you have any questions, reach out to us. Um, in regards to contacting, please connect. Our talent acquisition email address is recruiting, ending in ING, at Icaladus is I C A L L I D U S dot com. Again, recruiting ING at I C A L L I D U S dot com. And I'll be happy to share that in the chat as well. So, for anyone that does have questions, uh, you now have the capability of take, taking yourself off mute. If you want to come off mute and ask your question, you can do that, or you can post that into the chat. I have a question. Um, I was wondering if, um, as far as hiring is concerned, you guys were talking about, you know, this was. David's first job right out of college and things like that. What about um, for those of us that are transitioning careers and things like that? How would you, well, I guess I have two questions. One, is that something that you guys are looking for? And two, um, do you have any advice as far as making our resume stand out when we don't already have relevant work experience, but we do have work experience. We're not just you know, a fresh new grad out of college. We are an experienced worker in the workforce. We just don't have the actual experience in the field. Oh, okay. I can take that one because um, 
Part of my job is going through government contracts and finding requirements. So a trick I learned is to just look up other job, look up job applications. If you're looking for a job with us, with iCalidus, let's say technical writer, Google other technical writers, see what requirements they're asking for. And, you know, don't be afraid to research those things on your, on your own. Like, for example, before I got this job, I was looking at another technical writing job and I noticed they were looking for people that were using a certain product. It was called Kibita or something like that. I had never used this product in my life, but I looked it up, I got the gist of it. And then when I went in there, I was, I said, I've never used this product, but at a previous location, instead of using this product, because we couldn't afford it, I made up that part. I said, we just didn't afford it, but we never use it. Um, I said, you know, oh, we use this instead, or we did this process, or, you know, we did these steps to save ourselves the money so we wouldn't have to use this product. And so for some jobs, yeah, you are going to see day one experience with certain products. I'm sure you've seen that online. Research those products, even if you can't get hands-on experience with them yourself. There are plenty of videos on YouTube right now, people teaching you how to use those, get the idea of how it works. That way, you know what they're looking for. Cool. Thank you so much. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> And if I could just kind of also reiterate, um, yes, absolutely. Again, you know, take a look at those job descriptions, the job postings that are there, you know, see what, you know, especially when you're entering a technical uh, realm industry, you know, things are always changing, advancing, there's new innovations. Um, so there's always going to be new solutions, new services. Um, that you are going to have to equate yourself with. The same goes with as recruiters. You know, there's different programs, different coders, different languages um, that we also have to, you know, be familiar with. You know, at least have the understanding and then want to be able to communicate. So I would say definitely um, take the moment to be able to do that. But again, to kind of answer your question as you're transitioning from veteran to civilian world, um, taking in a lot of the strengths, a lot of your contribute, a lot of your strengths. You know, I always, you know, even for myself personally, when I was, you know, during my career path is I look at, you know, overall in hindsight, what were my strengths from leadership to uh, cross training to communication Um, you know, you're, are you a quick learner? You know, these are key things that you want to also not only highlight on paper, but of course, reiterate that in person. Um, for example, in my place, you know, applicant tracking system, you know, this is where we keep track. You know, I've worked with a variety of different um, tracking applicant tracking systems before, um, aside from the one that we currently use. So, you know, you want to be able to curtail, you know, your conversation about how you utilize that system, how you also um, made it advantageous for the company. Ultimately, the company wants to know how are you going to be an added value um, to their, you know, to the organization. How are you going to be an asset to be able to draw? you know, um, draw more clientele to build those relationships, those partnerships, bring in more revenue, um, you know, longevity. So they're looking at, you know, sustainability, you know, it goes both ways. As I mentioned before, you know, this is something that both the employee and the employer is it, it's a two way, you know, avenue. So, um, absolutely start with your strengths, look at your core, you know, uh, accomplishments, your accolades and apply that in both your writing, your conversations. Your resumes, you're definitely going to have to make them unique. Um, you know, not every resume is going to be bundled and you're going to just, you know, disseminate that blast out. So you definitely want to make that unique and, and really make your, see yourself as to how are you going to make yourself shine for yourself in my shoes and employ your hiring manager shoes, you know, um, and just really elaborate on that. And don't, depending on the level of experience of which, you know, if you're applying for a, you know, a mid-level to a senior level, Obviously, it's going to be more than a page of resume, but you want to condense it, consolidate it to to just a page, highlight again bullet points, um, the you know the the, the key things. And I don't know question. if you can see the chat, but we have a question in there. Let's take a look. All right, I have Amber. What roles did you all have starting out and what skills do you find most valuable to have? Did you want to start, David? Um, 
the skills I've found most valuable to have is just my ability to talk to anyone, whether they make less than me or make more than me. You have to talk to every, you have to be able to talk to both of them. Um, and I learned that a lot of people will start to make more money and then you start to talk down to people and that's not good. And then if you don't, and then some other people get intimidated by those above them and you don't know how to talk to people and that's not good. So honestly, as a writer, I mean, this is pretty specific for my role in the company, um, how to talk to people. That's my number one job other than just uh, business analysis part of it is subject matter expert interviews. I have to talk to people who are way smarter than me and know things that are way above my head. Uh, just so you know, Al, you know how he talks and you have to be able to translate that. So um, I don't think, I hope that answers that question. The most valuable skill I have personally is communication. Dang, I guess that just comes down to communication. Yeah. <laughs> For me, when uh, when I first started, um, you know, I knew early on that I wanted to go into business development and and human resources slash recruiting. Um, I was part of a uh, co-ed business professional fraternity in in um, at George Mason University. Uh, that's where that's my alma mater, and so I was uh, the VP of membership and recruiting. So I knew what steps I had to take early on. And all that, also to get a feel to see if this is something worthwhile, see if this is, you know, um, a field that I wanted to venture into and kind of segue from, from that. So I took care of that. I, I uh, had individuals, you know, organize a portfolio. I had all the recruitees attend the, uh, the job fair. And in order for them to be recruited, they had to land at least one interview um, and, and have the resume and have an interview set. Um, you know, one of the uh, one of the individuals till this day, we still remain in contact. He is actually head of a hedge fund um, and has thanked me, you know, for that um, for that opportunity. So, you know, you definitely I guess the other thing with that, too, is um, taking risk, you know, and really, you know, taking that leap forward, um, kind of going to the unknown, you know, getting out of your comfort zone, I think, is is really a key thing as well. Um, you know, as you were exploring, you know, uh, which route, which avenue, um, this is something that crossed my mind the other day as well is that, you know, there are a galore of opportunities. There are so many opportunities out there, um, which is great. You know, um, you know, we're, we're in a nation, we're in a, um, in a country that offers so many opportunities, uh, has liberty to make those choices. So, you know, use that to your advantage again, you know, given that IT is evolving and advancing healthcare is also uh, all encompassing, you know, integrated with IT as well. And with the advancements, biomedical engineering, um, you know, AI, artificial intelligence, you know, so there's, there's a number of different opportunities um, and don't be afraid to take an entry level position. And that's where I started off with too, you know, entry level. Um, you know, I started with a nonprofit organization as a, you know, uh, executive uh, director, screening resumes, getting to know people from the nonprofit, you know, point of view, and then just really saw that, okay, that I have the, uh, I have the, the, the gift to, to relate, to be relatable, to be personable. I said, okay, this is something that, you know, and I felt a passion for it. And I think that's another thing too, is not only taking risks, but also being, you know, keen and, and finding what your passions are. Um, and also what, what your traits, what your talents are, you know, what you could again, bring forward to, to any organization. Cause that's going to be key thing for longevity is, is what you're most, you know, um, confident in and what you're capable of and what you also have the courage of, of doing moving forward. So it always starts off with courage, follow suit by, by confidence. And then I see a 10. Give me if I mispronounce your name, uh, Tanga. She asked, are there any work from home opportunities? And if yes, is there a location preferences? So I can answer this question. We, de uh, corp well, actually corporate side, we definitely have work from home opportunities. I have never stepped foot in our office. I have never met any of our fellow coworkers in person. Until <laughs> now, all right, know, David? <laughs> yeah, for all I know, and this one does not have a bottom half. It, it, is, it is amazing. This is the nicest shirt I've worn all week. We absolutely have work from home opportunities. And if that is something you are about, come to iCalidus. Now that is for our corporate side. I can tell you for our subcontractors, like our federal, our employees that we send out to government work, that does depend on the contract. Some government contracts do allow remote, some ask hybrid. 
some ask for full time, that will be up to a distro and a specific contract if you are a contractor. Corporate, that's up to our boss, but corporate, everyone works from home and it's amazing. <laughs> right, regarding the, right, there are some active roles and there are some positions that I'm building a pipeline for. The business analyst position, that is one that I am building a pipeline, um, you know, that we are looking for, um, for individuals who have that, uh, you know, have that either the, the background experiences. Um, in terms of the degree set for that, again, that's pertinent to the federal client that we have. Typically, it will be someone with economics, business administration, MBA, uh, finance um, type of uh, background. Um, that role also would be something within two to three, three to five years experience, but someone who's trainable, again, someone who is looking for long term. Uh, one of the things here at ICALA is, you know, is that because we are a close team, but, you know, we all relatively have all been here for over a year and a half to two years. You know, David has been here for over two years. I've been here for a year and a half going on two years. So, you know, we, uh, we really are keen on drawing individuals who are looking to be part of a team, part of a family. And that's really is what is going to make us prosper and successful is really fostering and nurturing your team um, and providing the resources there. So if you are interested in that role, if you do have a background, um, please do connect with me and I'll be happy to discuss that further. Um, so, yes, again, if there aren't any active roles that you see online um, at um, iCalidus, www.icalidus.com, and I'll go ahead and share that as well in case you don't have that. But please periodically um, check our career site. And again, if there are um, other vacancies you don't see, but you're interested in, please do connect with me and I'll be able to, you know, we do have that opportunity to be able to provide you those resources. Again, I have a, a glory of professional networks out there as well. So I'm well connected um, in the community at large. Just scrolling through to see um, in terms of remote opportunities right now, I do have an active if I have any uh, licensed practical nurses again, talking about this is now going to the healthcare um, vertical. I do have a licensed practical nurse, someone who has a clinical review, medical record review background um, who does have a valid licensure. That's what I'm currently that is a hyper position. Um, Essentially, it is remote, but someone who would be able to work on site, they are completing their uh, Genesis uh, training, which is a military health system. So this is supporting a military uh, branch in the government. Um, so you would have to be would be required to uh, to work on site uh, during the duration of the training in Bethesda, Maryland. So if there is anybody who would fit those qualifications, would be interested, who is a licensed practical nurse on uh, online today, please do connect with me. Oh, and I put my LinkedIn down in the chat if anybody wants to add me. If you guys have any questions later on, feel free. There's a question here. Um, someone has asked, how is the opportunity for growth within the company? And what are the rates um, of, I'm not sure what that, what that uh, ending is, but um, in terms of growth, yes. Um, Again, it's it's really taking initiative, you know, um, be a self advocate. I think that also is a key thing with any organization that you join is definitely from the get go. Be, you know, be a self advocate, you know, be a proponent for yourself, speak up for yourself. If you want to, you know, expand into human resources or technical writing or business development, um, some type of leadership role, you know, be able to, you know, uh, learn more about reporting. Um, presentations, you know, absolutely, you know, speak. Um, we have those opportunities for a career growth path within the company. Uh, we also were you know, promoting. I think that's definitely one way of retaining, sustaining our uh, employees here is being able to acknowledge and uh, thrive and make others thrive within the organization. Um, we do have an employee referral program that I am currently working with HR on. So as we build and we expand and grow, um, definitely the employee referral program will also uh, be something that will be made available to both internal and external.
Thank you for that correction. Appreciate it. And then Alexis asked, do we have any like, internships available for the summer? That is something actually um, that I participated in another event and, and folks did ask about a internships, internships. Um, we currently do have someone who's an intern that has um, taken care of the IT support, has learned from a seasoned IT support um, individual. So, so yes, um, we may be open to more as, again, as we grow and there is a need for additional resources with it, especially, uh, you know, proposal management, business <laughs> development. Um, we always, you know, need an extra hand for sure. So, um, again, if the opportunity arises and you're interested in that, to get your foot in the door, that's a great way. Um, one thing also to catapult, you know, just in general, um, if there is a paid or non-paid internship or externship, just, you know, for those who are attending, absolutely, again, take advantage of that. Get your, it's, it's really about experience. It's about, again, the qualifications, what are the requirements, how you align as an applicant, as a candidate. Um, so just something just to keep in mind as, as well. So even if you were to take a stint, you know, uh, for, you know, three months or six months or a year, absolutely take advantage of that because every experience is, is valuable. Okay, unless anyone has any last minute questions, we have about two minutes left. Uh, this would, do we have any closing remarks? Um, again, I, I, I thank everyone for attending today. Um, I look forward to connecting to communicating. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention as well during this time, as you are venturing and applying for, you know, a number of different positions, um, definitely don't dismiss that we're, you know, that we're small business. I know a lot of folks may be aiming for the big Amazons and Accenture and, and all the major you know, Apple. Um, but, you know, absolutely, you know, uh, iCal is given that we are a small company. We're close knit. We communicate. We're looking for folks who really want to build a team to be part of a team. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, definitely there's that advantage. Whereas with a bigger company, you may not necessarily have your voice. Um, you know, so that's something just to keep in mind as well moving forward. But if you like to share your resume, um, you're seeking advice for me to take a look. I'll be more than happy to take a look for those who attended today. Just let me know that you attended today's session. I'll be happy to screen your resume, um, keep your information in, in my system. If I don't have a current opportunity, uh, connect with you in the future, but also give you some pointers as to how to refine, how to enhance it coming from a talent acquisition uh, recruiting um, point of view as well. So again, thank you everyone for attending today's session this evening and, and uh, wish everyone a wonderful evening. Thank you for both of you uh, for, for jumping on this evening and, and participating. Uh, just a reminder to everybody, this was recorded, so this will be sent out sometime tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that email uh, and thank you both again. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Take care, everyone. Thank you.